Hello everybody. Today we are going to learn how to load patterns into Photopea and use them as pattern overlays with layer styles. Let's get started. First off, I am going to create a brand new document in Photopea. Let's go to File, New. And I'll just call this Patterns Practice. Next, I'm going to make this document in inches and just a standard practice size. I'll make the width 10 inches and the height 8 inches and the resolution 150 DPI dots per inch. Background white and create. OK, right now we just have our blank document and I need to um, load a pattern. I would like to actually, um, I'm going to get my type tool and I want to make a cookie text effect. So I'm going to go ahead and click to set my cursor and type the word cookie. All right, maybe I'm going to play around with that font size and font style. Okay, I might even make it even bigger than 150. How about more like 250? Okay, so here's my font. And at the moment, I would like to uh, put a cookie, uh, like a chocolate chip cookie pattern inside of it. So I'm going to go over here to Google search. And I just typed in cookie and images. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for a chocolate chip cookie and I'm going to turn that chocolate chip cookie picture into a pattern. I'm going to use this one right here. So I'm just going to click it. Um, you could go to the website and grab the high resolution image, but I'm just going to pull that off and grab that one. All right, now back to Photopea. I need to open up that cookie JPEG as its own document. I'm going to go to File, Open. And I'm going to browse for that picture of the cookie. Chocolate chip cookie and open. OK, so notice now it's its own document. I'm not opening it on the other one. It's its own document. The file size is correct. It's not a picture clipping. Now, what I'm going to do is select part of the cookie. I'm going to get my rectangular selection. Um, in Photoshop, it's your rectangular marquee. And I'm going to you know, just draw a rectangle inside, choosing part of the cookie. Um, now, so I have this selection, and I want to make it on its own layer. I'm going to copy and paste it into a new layer. If you're on a Mac, you're going to do Command-J. If you're on a PC, control J. So now look, here's my, if I hide this original image, here's the new part I copied and pasted. All right, I actually want it to fill the whole document. So I am going to go to edit free transform and I'm gonna make it bigger. I could also crop this image. I, I don't necessarily have to you know, fill this image. I could crop it, but I'm just going to go ahead and fill this image. I'm holding shift so I don't distort. All right, and now there's my cookie, and I'm going to turn this now into a pattern. And this is how you do it in Photopea. I'm going to go to Edit, Define New, Edit, Define New, Pattern. Edit, define, new, pattern. All right, now notice it just popped up, pattern added. In Photoshop, you would actually have the opportunity to uh, get a dialog box pop up and name it. But Photopea just said pattern added. All right, so we're going to leave this document now. We're going to go back to our text effect, the cookie. And now I want to add a layer style to the text layer. So I'm on my text layer. Let's go to layer, layer style, pattern overlay. Layer, layer style, 
pattern overlay. All right, you're gonna get the pop-up box here and here's all your different layer styles. We are on pattern overlay. If you don't see this pattern overlay menu, click on the words pattern overlay. All right, now, if I were to drop down my default patterns, right here, that little arrow drops them down, and here's the default patterns, this yellow kind of swirl thing and these other defaults. Now, I want to add my own cookie pattern. All right, so I've already loaded it in the other document. It's going to be available here too. We're gonna drop this down again right here where it says pattern, drop down that arrow, go to this drop down arrow and choose, um, uh, you can define new if you wanted to make it brand new, but your cookie pattern should actually already be there. Here's mine. So it was already added, there it is. So if I click it, now there's my cookie pattern on the text. And notice now you can adjust some things. I can adjust the scale. So if I decrease the scale, now you can see more of the pattern, more of the chocolate chips. If I increase the scale, then it's actually zooming in and I see less of my pattern. Okay. And now you can offset the X axis or the Y axis. The X off X means the, the uh, horizontal. So if you kind of move it left, move it right, you're increasing, decreasing, you're technically moving it left, moving it right. Okay, if you do the off Y, offset Y, it's gonna move it, if you go to the left, it's gonna move it up, and if you go to the right, it's gonna move it down. All right, and that's it for adding a pattern overlay. Just for fun, I can add some other things like, how about a stroke? How about a drop shadow? Okay. That's it for pattern overlay.